So I'm here at Temple Street for the first time now. I've never seen this building before in my life. It's quite a surreal experience to see it firsthand now. Um, it's a lot smaller than what I thought it would be in real life. I found it uh, in the Yamate district uh, of Kowloon and I was just basically using the Google Maps car to scour the area back and forth and then sort of come across uh, that particular building and, and as soon as I saw it I was like, that's the building I've got to make. And the fact that uh, top floors of the building all seemed to be abandoned and was in much disrepair, visually it just, it, it screamed out to me and it was like, you have to build this as a miniature. Now, I, like, I expected some sort of reaction, but I didn't expect the reaction which I got. Um, the viral nature of it, it was, it was just intense. The buildings which interest me the most at the moment is the ones where nature is is sort of taking a hold of it and it's like slowly uh, sort of regrowing over the building and nature sort of taking control again. I grew up watching Hong Kong cinema ever since I was a, a young teenager and it was just the backdrop of all these buildings which really sort of drew me uh, as the inspiration of Hong Kong for my work. Hong Kong in real life is better than what I expected. It's, it's, it's like entering another world when, when you're coming to, to the Kowloon side, uh, like coming to areas like Mong, Mong Kok, Yamate, and seeing the streets for the first time. It's just like, it's so eye-opening for me uh, because I'm looking down an entire street of buildings that I just want to make as miniature. I, to be honest, walking around, I keep on feeling like I'm going to wake up. This has been a dream of mine for at least the last 20 or so years. So to be able to walk around the streets of Hong Kong in person and check things out is just a dream come true.